Hi, this is Rob Gordon with the LSA Academic Advising Office, and we're bringing you a series of tutorials for how to survive your first year in college. And what we wanted to talk about today with uh, registration coming up in the ne very near future is enrollment management, and to remind you how enrollment management works when you're looking through the online course guide and using Wolverine Access. Uh, and what we're going to do today is just show you a few examples of courses where there are enrollment management and you have to figure out what you need to do or if you can get into a course that looks like it's open but might really be closed. So what we're going to have you do first is go into Wolverine Access here and go into the class search feature. And the first thing we're going to look at is a course where it lists the course seats that are available to students and to what students those, those seats are available. And so we're going to type in English. right there and then we're going to type in 125 right here which is a first year writing course and we're going to leave it on show open only sections and of course 125 went away so English 125 and do a search for that class and when it comes up here you're going to see that this class is reserved for first year students only so the reason that this class is reserved for first year students is that it's a first year seminar and this is the title of first year seminar it says that it's open but if you're not a first year student you can't register for the class if you are a first year student, you can take it. These other spots d are not first year seminars and so are not reserved for particular students and anybody could register for this course. All right. We're going to go back to the search here and the next thing we're going to look at is, a, is something called departmental consent. And so in some cases, the departments have put restrictions on classes and said that students can't register for the class unless they get permission or consent from the department. And so we're going to look at Spanish 232 here and type in Spanish and then go down here and again look for put in 232 and make sure, that, at least in this case, make sure that it says open only because otherwise it's going to show you all the sections. So if you leave it on open only, it will show you only the sections that are open. And then do a search. And then we're going to have to drill down to the next level because it doesn't really say anything here on, the, on this information. It just says there are 24 spots available and that it's open. But if you go down further, you'll see that it says department consent required. So you need consent of the department, the Romance Language Department, in order to get into this course. So it's important to know that. All right. Uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is advisory prerequisites versus enforced prerequisites. In some cases, courses will have either advisory prerequisites, which means that they're advising that you have the prerequisite classes. In other cases, they're enforced prerequisites. And what we're going to look at is a course that has both an advisory prerequisite and an enforced prerequisite. And so we're going to look at Econ 310 and say search. And then again, drill down to this next level of detail here, although it says on here that you have to be a sophomore, freshman or sophomore, or a junior, right? And only 20 seniors are, are able to register for this class. And then click on the panel level here, and you can see that it's re an enforced prerequisite of Econ 101 with a C or better, and an advisory prerequisite of Econ 102. So you could take this class even if you've only had Econ 101, but the department is recommending that you've also had Econ 102. Okay, so hopefully this will help you when you go to register for classes this semester. If you have any, any other questions about this, please come see your academic advisor in 1255 Angel Hall, and there will be more tutorials on the way.